you asked for it, indefinite integrals, so we are going to deliver. When it's an integral, it's the opposite of a derivative. So uh, we'll do derivatives later, but I'm assuming you've done derivatives since you're asking for integrals. All right, here we go. Uh, what you do with an integral is you take the, the exponent and you are going to add one. We, we are going backwards, if you will, in time. Usually integrals are, are helping you find the area of something. This is a lot of teaching. There's a lot to go on here. But in this case, um, just learning what an integral is or how to do an integral, uh, we're going to take this exponent of 5 and we're going to make it x to the 6th because it's the opposite of a derivative. Uh, but we, we need to divide by 6 because when we take a derivative, that's what we do. We multiply by 6 again. It's the opposite. And keep that negative 24. Uh, but we don't know what was before that. There, there, there could have been a constant there before that. There wasn't any x's there because we would see it on this equation right here. But there could have been a constant. So we're going to put plus c. And when we evaluate at certain spots, we will have an actual answer there. But here it is. We can simplify. Actually, you don't need to simplify because they assume you can. But we will. 24 divided by 6 is 4. So we have negative 4x to the 6th uh, plus c. That is our answer. Thanks for playing. See you next time.